hey guys welcome to one another amazing video in this video we will talk about what is spf or you can say sender policy framework so guys if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe it and turn off the notification so that you get notified whenever we upload a new video so now guys see as you all know there is one smtp server so with the help of that smtp server we can send emails to our clients or customers so these SMTP servers can be Amazon SEA, SendGrid or you can even have your own SMTP servers. So now guys as you all know this SMTP server uses one domain name to send emails to your clients or customers. So in my case I have a domain name kunallunari.co.in. So my SMTP server uses kunallunari.co.in to send emails to my clients or customers. So guys suppose my both SMTP servers and domain name has good reputation. Now let's take one scenario when there is one hacker or you can say spammer or a bad person who usually send spammy emails. So now this person has started using my domain because he knows that kunalunari.co.in has very good reputation. So he has started using my domain name to send his bad email. So now guys just imagine he also has very bad SMTP servers. So now he is sending my emails with very bad SMTP servers to people. So now what will happen my SMTP server and my domain name which used to be very good but after this person has started sending spammy emails with my domain name so my domain name and SMTP server has started getting bad reputation. So now guys here comes the SPF rule. SPF here prevents someone to use your domain name or your SMTP server. So SPF does not allow anyone to use your domain name or you can say your SMTP servers to send emails. Okay so this is the benefit of SPF. Now question arises how you can do that. How you can configure SPF. So guys idea is very easy. You must know that every SMTP servers have one unique IP address. Likewise, your domain name is also having one unique IP address. So what we need to do, we simply have to record our SMTP server IP address to SPF and we also have to record our domain name IP address to SPF. So after that, whatever IP address and domain name IP address we have recorded to SPF, we have to record that same SPF to DNS zone configuration. And when you will do this, your all tasks will be over. You will successfully configure your SPF records to your DNS zone. That means your emails will definitely going to get 10 by 10 delivery score. Your emails will land to your customers inbox for sure. So guys, you can see the idea is somehow that simple. Okay, so guys, in next video, we will talk about what is DKIM. If you want to know what is DKIM, just simply click on iCard or I have also given a link in the description box to watch this video. So guys, also one more thing. If you haven't subscribed or followed us on Facebook, please follow us. We have around 93,000 plus followers on Facebook page, Bing Commerce. You can also follow Bing Commerce on Instagram, bingcommerce.official. We have around 37,000 plus followers on Instagram page. Also guys, if you want all amazing things, about email marketing you can also watch my full email marketing playlist where i provide all amazing content regarding email marketing we also teach how to create your own smtp server so that you can send unlimited emails for very cheap so guys this is all about today's video i will see in the next video friends bye bye